Hi everyone, this is Hayden in the Master Healer coming to you guys um, and a quick reading on, on um, Nini Leaks and um, her new boyfriend Naomi um, Celesio. Um, so you guys can um, check it out and for all my people on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, please head over to, um, to the Spiritual Fixer Media on YouTube and get the rest of this um, beautiful reading. Um, the original, the only one that been on fire for 2021. Um, all my predictions been coming true. You guys could go back and check out all my um, predicted videos. So let's dive in and see what's hap happening to, um, to Nini Leaks and, and Naomi Salasio. Um, as I say, um, the first thing first, um, I want to say I like um, this guy. I like Naomi Salasio. I like him. Um, I like his energy. I can see he's a fire sign just like, um, like, like, like Nini. Both of them is too fire. Um, I could I can tell by, by looking at him that he really um, adores Nini um, right now also I'm seeing um, for Nini I see that um, eventually um, her home will end up selling I see that she will be moving in I'm seeing her moving in for, um, to a new home hopefully between now and spring of 2022 she'll be moving into a new residence um, somewhere in, in the Atlanta area but I'm seeing the moving in soon, very soon. Um, that I've seen that um, you guys will be here and she's moving into a new home. So I'm seeing that already, um, already happening. So between now and spring of 2022, um, she should be settling properly to, to, to a new home. But I see definitely, the, I see the house because as ever, I see that um, a boyfriend will, will eventually move in. But um, what I'm seeing for Nini is that she have to take it easy and she's moving a little too fast and she's moving too much for the um for the media and i've been saying this for, for um forever and you guys who've been following me and i've been telling you guys especially when coming to black um people if you use a black person and a certain level in life especially for us it's very difficult the older we get it's harder to get quality um um people of color especially men that some of us might want it's not that they, it's not like um it's not like you don't have good quality men. Have a lot of good quality black men, but sometimes when we, when an older person gets, especially um, a woman himself is a wealthy woman and he getting older, and he wants somebody close to your age, it's a little more tougher because sometimes most of the men with money, um, especially if it's a black man with, with money, most of the time he'll more choose somebody younger, a little much younger. Now. So the advice I always try to give um, my clients, especially I'm a spiritual matchmaker, I'm the best in the whole of North America. You guys see my predictions when coming to uh, relationships. I'm, I'm the best out there, hands down. I don't need no tarot, nothing. I just tell you in 15 minutes, if that person, I don't need no chart, no nothing. Just natural born talent that I have. I can tell um, if that person is going to stay with you or not. Um, but for, for, um, for Nini, I see the mistakes she makes. She should have never throw out her relationship so soon um, out there because she wanted everybody to see that she have to, this man and so on but I can see right now that she's gonna have a lot of problems a lot of pushback and, 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 and this relationship will have some problems now when coming to um, Nayo says I'm um, sorry uh, when coming to her boyfriend he really is into uh, Nini but Nini have to what I see is that she need to stop trying to um put a relationship out there um too much media um for this relationship because i see um when i look at, at her boyfriend i look at her, um he have certain on un unattended things he need to take care of especially um i see a situation with his ex-wife that is, is going to come up and um i see unhappiness there um definitely you can tell he was going to um having marriage and problems and stuff but the, the way how everything happened, this is a similar situation that I see. Did you guys remember when um, Eddie Murphy ex-wife, when she was um, sneaking around with Anton Fuqua, with the Russian um, um, husband? And you can tell that that um, Eddie Murphy ex-wife, you can tell she not treated like the paparazzi with them, had them um, come and, and, and pop up on the spot and um try to put the man in, in um in a compromising position uh, to make to, to force the man hand to leave it um Lila Roshan, uh, but it ended up backfiring because Lila Roshan she straight up she wasn't letting her husband go like that 
because she knows she if she did divorce him as much as she would have get the money she would not be able to be back in the hollywood crew especially as a single uh, woman so she decided to stay and work things out now with nini here with this situation she know the man situation all along but what she did is that she put him out there she put him on the spot and the only thing is that this didn't backfire just yet but i am seeing moving forward she's going to have a lot of problems in this relationship um not because of him it's just i i see a lot of spiritual attacks and people have to be careful especially when you're dealing with foreign men and their ex-wives and stuff like that people is not going to sit down and, and just let things slide and think that you will just take the woman husband in spite of they might not really um been having a perfect marriage but some people from different countries and i always talk about this all the time a lot of people is not going to sit down and just let you come and just take the husband whether things not going good or not um some people from different um backgrounds different cultures when they marry they tell when they married in their mind they married forever so they'd have no intentions already um breaking up in spite of the marriage been bad and you see that with a lot of africans and stuff a lot of african men might have the, the 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 wife from the original country from the tribe and all that stuff but it might have a, a next family maybe here in america um with children and stuff but these people don't play and i see that nini is going to be having a lot of problems in, in this um in this relationship she should have never throw the man out into the wolves that's how i look at it um because i see she's going to pay a price moving forward um for 2022 in this relationship everything will be looking all nice now everything i see is looking beautiful now everybody is looking happy but i see is going to have problems here and there and um let's pray and hope that this relationship survive um um 2022 if the relationship survive 2022 if it go past 2022 she'll be okay because i see that um the boyfriend he really really adores her um i can feel the energy two of them will have a lot in common as I say, I mean, he's very stylish. And uh, as I say, he's a fashionista, the man with one of the baddest tailors. I see all this hands down, style wise, and everything. And um, I might have to fly down, down there and kept me a suit or something because this dude is is off the chain when coming to his fabrics, when coming to his, his um and stuff. So I gotta cap me at these two suits at, at, at least. And I mean, uh, in 2022, hopefully this COVID um, blow over. But um, what I want to say is that. For, for Nini, I see that um, right now because of this relationship, I think because she will be getting a lot of offers and stuff now, I think that she will be. I see that doors will open back for Nini for, for this year. Long as she stay humble, I talk about her in my December blog. I see I see problems for her in her business, um, in her launch, and um, she have to be extra careful because um, and she have to um, stay humble, stay grounded. She can't be cocky and talking to people um reckless or anything like that sometimes that's her emotions and that's that fire um sagittarius um sign you know they're ready to um always ready they have a hot mouth you know you know fire signs you know they don't put up in any, in any kind of nonsense you know they speak their mind um they're very straightforward some of them could be very bold and things like that but if they if um sagittarius people they're very loyal they like it they like it but one thing with them they can't lock them down you know they're very sweet spirit they love to party they love to have fun and things like that so um and, and with her boyfriend as i said i mean i like him i like the energy i believe that um things will, will work for them but they have to get past 2022 um one of the things that i see um in this relationship um coming up i see that someone here i see that um somebody here i um will end up cheating in this relationship um also i don't know for 2022 i've i've been seeing a lot of cheating with a lot of relationships man i i it just I just i just seen it you know and um definitely one of them end up cheating i see a lot of envy and jealousy because of, um nini and this man here right now a lot of people gonna try a lot of spiritual um attacks that nini is, is have to brace herself as I told you guys, I, you guys tired here me talk about that television community. That Atlanta area is a lot of witchcraft. I have a lot of clientele down there. And um, there's a lot of witchcraft to be pelting. And um, I'm not talking about just celebrities, just there's a lot of people. And it's hard to, to get a man, um, a quality man in Atlanta. So so because you understand what I'm saying, it's all different um, times. So I always tell my clients, 
if you know you're married do not move to atlanta i prefer you move to north carolina or charlotte area or o'reilly or, or durham or one of these areas like that than moving to georgia atlanta any of them area you married guys anybody out there you married and you guys um you have a nice husband and you, know, you have um things going on please do not move to atlanta because you're going to lose your husband i'm telling you straight up because it's like seven women to one man women down there don't play so they're aggressive a lot of women down there they, they 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 don't play so you know you have a good husband you know you have good things going on in your life do not move to georgia i'm telling you i don't care who your husband is you're gonna lose your husband i'm telling you straight up you have women down there um with bigger homes they have deeper pockets they have a lot of businesses they just don't have a man and they will do whatever it takes they don't care about you they don't care they will take your husband if they see your husband looking cute they will take your husband so back to nini now as i say um um, also, we saw um, last week we saw uh, with a young with a young guy that Nini was um, was seeing um, recently. You see, the guy was all up in his feelings, and I see leak out pictures with Nini and stuff like that. I think that will make her new boyfriend look at her a little different. Um, but he still adore her. But Nini have to pull back and stop putting a relationship in the media so much because you're putting this man out there. You're setting yourself up a relationship to be short-lived and that is what i'm seeing i see temptation will be coming for him a lot of women because now you saw the man you put the man out there and it, and, and it's obviously in atlanta you have so much beautiful pictures different um, quality pictures out there they're gonna be coming for your man some of them will have deeper pockets than, than nini some of them will look better than her and that's the biggest mistake she makes she should have keep her stuff low profile but she wanted to put the man out there to force the man to, um, to, to, to leave his wife similar to as I told you guys to how with, 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 with Eddie Murphy and um, with, with, with Eddie Murphy ex-wife like how which is she tried to do with um, with Anton Foucault the director of Training Day so and that backfire this time with Nini now um, it, it have a um, ex-wife right now she's hurting I see that that woman is not going to sit down and, and let things slide just so easily Nini have to brace herself I see um, temptation in this relationship. If the relationship, as I say, um, survive this year, they will be okay. But I see a lot of problems moving forward. And I see that Nini um, will be getting a lot of opportunities um, with other gigs. You'll be seeing her uh, making moves and, and things like that. But other than that, when coming to this relationship, one of them will end up cheating. And I see um, before the end of the year, and I see problems for Nini business as I told you guys straight up in my December blog and I still see that and she have to be careful you know you guys have to move in silence I'm gonna drop that video soon talking about that a lot of people want to live for the blogs for likes for fame and all that stuff Nini should know better and um it's not a good look right now um, I don't like how this looking she need to um take stock and I see her traveling she's gonna go like on a spiritual um retreat I see that um her boyfriend gonna take her to Africa, show her um, has his, his side and, and, and sh show her um, his life and um, some of his culture and stuff. So I see definitely um, things like that. I see an older lady, somebody that Nini that really like and adore is going to um, try and talk to her. I hope that she listen. You know, sometimes people know um, know it all. Nobody know it all, including myself. I always tell you guys that nobody know it all in life. And anybody that you know that know it all, run from them. I try to tell you guys that. And um, but Nini um, needed, um, and I see also too that she'll end up feeling sad and depressed. Um, she'll be having a lot of mood swings. You understand know, something? All her emotions, um, playing and stuff. Some days she'll be thinking about her ex-husband. And definitely also too, I want to say quickly too. Yes, I see that her husband really did know. She he, he gave her permission. You know, he know you are sick. He know what does. He tell her to go ahead. And, um, and, and make herself happy. So definitely it's nothing to think. A lot of people find that she might have been moved move on too quickly, but um, teach his own, you know? But um, right now, as I say, peace, love, and blessings. You guys will be hearing more from me soon. Um, please like, subscribe, please um, click on the notification bell. Go to the website, thespiritualfixer.com. Don't forget to um, book um, your 2022 readings. You guys have a lot of problems. You guys know when you, when you show up, be ready to, um, to, um, to, to, to take charge, to, um, to change your life or wrong. 
so that my team and I that we can work with you uh, moving forward for 2022. So thank you for all the people, all the subscribers. I see you guys, love you guys. Thank you for all the new people that um, that I saw personally for 2021. I look forward to seeing um, um, you guys in 2022 and you guys will be hearing more from me. So peace, love and blessings. Happy New Year's and prosperity, love. Peace, love and blessings. Bye.